the boys are home from school today. And you know where your girl's going. You know where your girl's going. Period. Today's fit check, we are doing the Storm bra and legging. I usually don't do a matching set, but I'm just feeling the all black today. And this is probably one of my favorite sets from Buff Bunny Collection, and it's actually still on their website. I can't say that about all the things I share with y'all, but it is because they brought it back for the Black Friday sale, and I think it is all still in stock. Got my bat earrings on, and then, oof, I got my Jack Skeleton matching socks. Talk this morning. The Jaws shark combo. Try to be clever and do both at one time. You know, we're doing the PE science stack. I'm still doing, what am we doing? The Melon Berry Twist Pro and the Paradise Cooler High Volume and of course our creatine down there. I made a big order with PE science so my beloved black cherry should be on the way. Pre-workout meal, per usual, two rice cakes, banana, honey, Redmond salt, cinnamon, and then we're doing the raspberry pop tart today. It's either the OG Apple Jacks is now my number one, and this raspberry's become my number two. I am digging it for the macros popping up to get that quick absorbent carbs in our bloodstream before we kill this upper one. Good morning, Trey. You smiling? Yeah, good morning. You telling everybody hello? You off of school today? Are you off of school today? Yeah. Wait, wait. What are you doing over there? Watching tablet. Y'all well, think y'all got a day off or what? Yeah, I don't know what this is about. Can I help you? Can I help you? Uh, your daddy's gonna have to bring you out. Mommy's going to the gym. Y'all shouldn't be awake this early. If I tried to wake all y'all up this early, y'all wouldn't. But being that I'm going to the gym, y'all like, woohoo, party time. Before we get on the road, I totally forgot to make my creamy for tonight for dessert. Well, yesterday, I've made them in the morning and they work out just fine, but you gotta make them first thing in the morning. So I'm gonna get that going before we leave. Carbs acquired, let's get it. Let's get out of here. And when we get back, I'm gonna show you Bone Daddy has got a new get up. Good morning, welcome back to another Fit Mom vlog. We are at the gym staring at the heaviest weight at the gym, which is uh, the front door. But let's chat about a couple of non-gym related things first. If you've been watching the Fit Mom vlogs, I've been talking smack about one eye going on better than the other. So if you've been watching, you'll understand what I'm about to say. My good eye came to fight today. My good eye is jealous of me talking good about my bad eye because I don't know, y'all have something when you put your mascara on and you're looking and you're trying to figure out if something's poking your damn eyeball, if something's in your eyeball and there's nothing there and you've done adjusted a million freaking times and it feels like something is poking me and I'm, I might have just fixed it just now, hang on tight. I don't know, it still feels kind of funky. But y'all ever have that and you're like, oh my God, my eye feels funky and it's just like irking your nerves and like ruining your morning. We're having one of those type of mornings this morning. That's great. Everyone is off of school today. Today's Martin Luther King Day, January 15th. Shout out to my sister. Today is her birthday, which reminds me, I'm like, girl, you posted all kinds of stuff on Instagram. You didn't post anything about your sissy. Gotta get on there and do that before we get into the gym. So happy birthday to her and happy Martin Luther King Day. Just because everybody's off doesn't mean your girl wasn't going to the gym. Today is upper one. I don't think I I have filmed my new upper one with you guys on YouTube. If you've been following me on Instagram, you've seen me post clips, but not for the YouTubes. I haven't filmed a vlog on a Monday in a long time. So I was like, let's pick up the camera and let's get it. Let's talk about like this Arctic blast, whatever you want to call it. That's, you know, by the time you're seeing this, it's already out of here and it's probably like hundred degrees here by the time you're watching this the next week. But we've got everybody suffering with the cold, right? And we have some kind of like cold front coming through arctic blast they're calling it coming through today they're talking about tonight us having like wintry mix like what when we when we see that with not even snow when we see that little wintry mix thing on the we're like ah, freaking out everybody's at the grocery store stocking up like armageddon's coming like nobody knows how to function down here they're already talking about since last week 
last week, mind you, like two weeks before this is even happening, that they're gonna close schools tomorrow because of possible ice on the roads. Because, you know, Louisianians can't drive on ice. We don't know what ice is. When we hear anything about ice wintry mix, we just hoard up like bears. That's what happens down here in the south, in the deep south, that's what happens. So I, I'm hoping, <laughs> I, oh, I know this is so bad. I'm hoping school isn't closed tomorrow because we've got legs on agenda tomorrow and I'd like to come to the gym and I doubt there's gonna be ice and all this stuff and I'm sure to be safe and take precautions. I know, but y'all know how it is. I mean, they were off for like over two weeks. They had only like three hours in school the day they went back because of storms. I mean, when did all this happen when we start closing school for like a thunderstorm? I don't understand, legit, and it's only because I was sick, but there was a tornado. We had a tornado in downtown Covington, all right? If you are local, you, you know what I'm talking about. A tornado that came through, and I'm sure there was like warnings, like tornado warnings are gonna be happening and all this stuff. And they sent everybody to school, and guess what? There was a tornado right by where my junior high was, I was sick, so I was at home, so I saw all of it on the TV, but I'm just saying. Like, they didn't do all these things. I, I guess it's to be better to be safe than sorry, but I don't know. I just feel like times have a change. Your girl's just getting up there. When I'm filming this, this is week two of the Next Level Shred for my participants in the Next Level Shred, and when you guys are watching, it is week three for them. So if any of my shreddies are watching, you got this today. I am so pumped and excited for this week two because in the Zoom last night, I really told them to push themselves and to go hard, and I am doing the same thing myself. So when I get in here today, my goal is to really push it. I was all jacked and pumped after our Zoom last night myself, and I'm like, yes, I just cannot wait to get in the gym. So I'm excited to get in here. After we get out the gym, I'm gonna try to go to a couple of stores, pick up a prescription, because again, I don't know if everything's gonna be shut down tomorrow because of the possible little bit of ice on the road. We got a couple of things to do afterwards, but in the meantime, pre is kicking in. Let's get in here and let's kill it. That's the hope. We're coming off of Shark Week, which is our most beast week. Last week was the most epic week of training I've had in my life. I have high expectations, but body, don't let me down. Let's get it. Beast mode activated. I'm just doing my best even though I'm so stressed out. Everything just feels like a test that I fail so depressed when I can't seem to get out But something deep inside won't let me quit I swear that I'm inspired by all this Tell me that I can't and I won't That's what guides me the most You lies, I'll do what I want The gas in the man of the sun of the man She's so bad at the gym Paint the bread off the gas in the gas in the man of the sun of the man She's so bad at the gym I'm inspired by thirst, I'm inspired by worth I desire your worst, so you can just hide while I work I ain't tired, you first, I'll write a second, third verse About the lies you go disperse, you never did sh I know it hurts But something deep inside won't let me Date. I still have something in my eye. Like, what is going on? Come on, right eye. Don't get jealous of the left eye looking purdy now. And like, now you poking me and, and abusing me all of a sudden. Upper number one, holy ish. Okay, I preach to the reverse, reverse. I keep wanting to say reverse group. The shreddies, the shreds, heads. I mentioned to them last night in the Zoom that I wanted them to really push themselves to go hard. When you think you're going hard, freaking go harder. 
And I practice what I preach here. I practice what I preach. I try to set an example, okay? And I went in there and lifted way heavier than I thought I could. Let your body do the talking, guys, when you go into the gym. Don't have, like, have your workout, obviously, your split, but as far as how many reps you're gonna do, just let your body do the talking. Like, I know our goal is to hit, like, eight to 10 and then move up, but don't limit yourself and say, oh, I'm only gonna hit six, I'm only gonna hit seven. I used to do that, and then I was, like, hindering myself from progression and from growth by doing that. Now, I just freaking lift the weight, and if I get to eight, I'm, like, pushing it girl push it you got two more reps get to that 10 we get to that 10 and then we freaking increase that weight so there are a lot of exercises that I'm only doing like six or seven reps because the weight is heavy but those six or seven reps are freaking killer all right they're killer I'm pushing myself I took way longer in here than I, I'd like to but I have to take adequate rest and I promote you guys to take adequate rest in between sets especially if you're lifting heavy like this that way you can go into your next set with the most gusto you can and try to to whip your ass and, and go up in that rep and that weight and go to the next one if you just go back to back with no rest you're not even going to be able to lift the weight <laughs> it's going to be so heavy and feel like a million pounds because you did not give your body enough time to rest recharge for just a little bit and get right back into that next set and try to go ham on that set and repeat who feels so good I am in a phase though if you guys are new that I am eating about 2300 calories could I eat more probably but I'm sticking around here because guess what I'm feeling really good in the gym as far as my energy throughout the day feeling really good not feeling starving so I'm, I'm good where I'm at but I am seeing I mentioned this before with the body dysmorphia fit mom vlog that there are parts of my body where I'm like that's where we gain the fat if we're eating more than a normal that's where the fat goes but what outweighs all that and if you're in a like building phase this is why I'm telling you this because I know it for us women it can get really uncomfortable to see areas of our body that didn't look like that not too long ago and you think that you're doing something wrong but when I look at my overall physique and I see the muscle increasing I see my strength increasing that outweighs all that because I know I'm going to be going into a cut in April and my plans for the April shred for myself next level the whole theme of 2024 for me personally is fearless fearless and pushing myself to limits that I never thought that I could possibly and I am gonna branch out of my comfort zone for the shred and we're gonna be amping it up y'all leveling it up so that's why I'm not mad about anything right now because I know it's gonna pay off when I get into that shred phase when I get into that shred phase Y'all better watch out. I'm just saying. Y'all, it's going to be pss, smoking fire. I'm going to be tired as hell. I'm going to be cranky. I'm going to be bitchy. So when those fit mom vlogs come, come to shred, I might not be as pleasant and chipper. But we are going to freaking slay and kill it. So if you want to join the April Next Level Shred, your girl's going to be with you. That might be a bad thing. Last time I did the first shred we ever did, I participated in. And there were many weeks where I was like, mega bitch because I was going through the same thing and anybody that was complaining or whatever I'm like ah, I'm going through the same thing too you better hush so that might not be a good thing but it might be a good thing because I'll be even more hard and on your butt and you be getting it done and grinding I was going to go to Dollar General but I think I'm going to skip Dollar General and we're going to just go pick up our prescription because it's already 10 30 I'm sure the boys are like mom where are you at get home and and do all the work things the cleaning things I'm still not caught up y'all because first off Christmas is down all Christmas is down it is January 15th are you guys proud of me or what I finally got it all in the attic and it's all done see you Christmas like I am not even looking forward to next Christmas I don't even want to get that ish out it's way more than my Halloween stuff how is that possible oh because I love my youngest son so much and he is obsessed with Christmas that's why but let me tell you his his little booty better be out there and decorating because that ish is work but it's all down however I still haven't been able to like deep clean my house because the kids have been home they I haven't had a split second away to be able to do work and to do mom life so I feel like I'm playing catch up on a daily this month is just like super hella busy and crazy with the weather and school and all the things so maybe February will deep clean I don't know but let's get to the to the pharmacy prescription prescription say that 10 times fast and let's get to the house and get our first 
real meal of the day. Post workout meal, we got a lot going on. So we've got 150 grams of liquid egg whites. I just put salt and pepper on them. And then we've got one slice of Velveeta cheese, my plastic cheese, I love it, yes please. And then we've got some everything but the bagel seasoning on top of it. Got one slice of raisin cinnamon bread from Aldi, 80 calories. We've got the Better Oats 100 calorie oatmeal packs. I love these. I get these from Target. The cinnamon roll, and they have like a maple brown sugar one, but I think. I don't know. Both of them are really good, but I like to uh, have a little bit of American Dream nut butter on those. And the pumpkin spice latte is my favorite. They didn't bring this one back this year. Womp womp. I know. Like, what is American Dream's life? I don't know. But when you're watching this tomorrow, they've got a brand spanking new launch that I am so excited about. My review taste test should be on my Instagram already. So go and check that out. But they're all brand new and I'm excited because we haven't had a launch in a while. But this is a really good one if they ever bring it back, just so you know. Then we've got a serving of frozen mango back there and our protein coffee. So we've got the macros popping up, post-workout, 40 grams of protein getting in. I keep saying it, but I got to preach for those people in the back. You got to eat the food. You have to fuel your body. Look at food and calories as fuel, as fuel to function and to be able to go hard in the gym. Without it, it ain't happening. Okay, back to the laundry. I feel like every time we do a vlog, the laundry saga. Do y'all watch Sarah Jane from Chic on a Cheap? I love her organizational videos. That's what I click on every time she posts. And she just did like a Walmart, like New Year organizational thing. She posted this laundry hamper that has like the three sections on it. The little mesh one, but it's kind of like skinny. I clicked and added that carta so fast and it came in like a day. So I'm here for it because I really need three separate hampers. So this works out great and doesn't take up as much space. You see, I got ish all over the floor. So I'm gonna separate right now. One side is clearly uh, runneth over, but that is like my hand washable stuff, like workout stuff, and I don't get to it as much as just the regular, but like, look at all the room. I have this towel down. We have some issue with this. Oh, don't get me started with our washing machine. We probably need to get a new one eventually. We've had this one since we uh, moved into this house when we built the house, but this saves so much room, like so much space, so much room for activities. Lunch for the boys. It is sandwich day. Monday and Fridays are sandwich day. It keeps my sanity. Peanut butter and jelly with American dream nut butter for Trey. 50 calorie bag of lesser evil, a fudge stripe cookie, some of those peaches and juice, some red bell pepper, and a yogurt tube. Have at it, Trey Trey. Waylon is having a plain ham and cheese, some bunny crackers, a banana, a yogurt tube, and the last, or well, one of the last holiday Oreos we had. I'm trying to get this crap out the pantry. It's the little things in life that excite you. Shout out to my girl, Kayla. She sent me this package. She had messaged me on Instagram and said, girl, I have the Eggos. Do you want me to send you one? Y'all know I've been on the hunt for these freaking Eggo Pop-Tarts. I cannot find them anywhere, but everybody's been rubbing it in my face saying how great they are. And she was so sweet and kind to send them to me. So thank you so much, Kayla. So I am finally going to be able to try them. So y'all will have to watch the next Fit Mom vlog and see what I think about them. I said vlog, vlog. Okay, get it together, girl. You're too excited about a damn Pop-Tart. Frosted banana bread, I have and I've tried. It's not my favorite, but it's not bad. But I have other ones that I like better. But oh man, I am so jacked for this one. This is going to play while it's still not... Oh, this little rascal, a million degrees. They're like, mom, it's gonna be so cold tomorrow. We're not gonna be able to go outside. And Saint's like, I wanna jump. No boy, you just went outside. We have to have a debate. I have to have a debate in the comment section down below. This is gonna cause some controversy, I'm sure. Okay, where am I going? Girl, what are you doing? All right, I went to use the bathroom. I know TMI, but I went to use the bathroom in our bathroom in the bedroom okay and the hubby was in here before i left to go to the gym apparently we needed a new roll of toilet paper and then i come and it's on the thing like this like this as soon as i saw it and every time he does this y'all know on Step Brothers, like one of the best funniest movies of all time love will ferrell when he goes <laughs> look at his drum set and it's like da 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 like that music as soon as i saw this i was like da 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 no oh, no my friends the paper the paper towel the toilet paper goes like this it does not go the other way. It goes like this. This is the correct way to put your toilet paper on the thingy. Y'all comment down below. Is it, oh, I guess this is over, right? Over 
or are you a under psycho? Are you a under psycho? If you put your toilet paper like this, you are a psycho. I am no offense, but I'm just saying, hubby's a psycho. I will straight tell you guys because he does it like that every time. What is his life? It is over like this. Who, if you're, I, I just, I don't understand it. We're, we're going to have to have a sit down. Saint needs to have a sit down with his daddy about how to put the toilet paper roll on there correctly. It is starting to rain a little bit. Not much. Like, fingers crossed for tomorrow. Like, it'd be cray. But I want to do a Bone Daddy reveal before it gets any worse because I don't want his, his hat to look sad, if that makes sense. It is sprinkling, but here we go. All gestured out. Doesn't he look freaking fly? I am just saying, Mardi Gras, Mambo, Mambo, Mambo. Let's go, Bone Daddy. He looks so awesome. I'm gonna link the shop where I've been buying all the stuff for Bone Daddy. She's a brand new shop since fall. She got a 12 foot skeleton and she's been making all kinds of stuff for hers and she opened up an Etsy shop and she is killing it. She made this special for me, the first one she's ever made. I was the first one to buy it. So I can say I got the first one from her shop, but absolutely love it. I mean, oh my gosh, how cool does he look? We're just leaving Bone Daddy up all year. Um, so Valentine's and Mardi Gras fall on the same exact day this year. So he won't be Valentine's up this year, maybe next year. And of course I gotta get some Easter get up for him, but Bone Daddy, I just love him so much. Lunch today, we're doing a chili cheese bowl, all right? <laughs> I was gonna do a short, but I'm like, it's so simple, it's so stupid, and they don't even need a short or a reel for it. So I'm using the Hormel, the no beans now. If you watch my grocery hauls, you know I love the beans, but in this, it actually has less calories and more protein, and I did like 100 grams. A serving's 236 grams, 240 cals, and 20 protein. So I did about half or less of that. And we've got a little over 100 grams of the Daisy 2% cottage cheese with some everything but the bagel seasoning. We've got one like hot dog, sausage, whatever you want to use. I suggest like a chicken sausage of some sort because it's going to be lower calorie, high protein. I'm using these ones from Thrive Market, the mild Italian style ones because I have them on hand. 80 calories, 13 grams of protein. And then we did one serving of mozzarella fat-free cheese because it is just like straight protein. 45 calories, but nine grams of protein. Those macros are insane. So many of you guys talk about how you hate the fat-free. Look, I'm not a fan necessarily either. The mozzarella is the best out of the two and y'all talk about washing your cheese look if i have to get to a point where i'm washing my cheese we just ain't doing it okay i've never had that problem you just put it in the microwave for like 30 seconds with your cover and let it like steam melt in its perfection this little bitty bowl this little bowl okay for my people that are shredding or on their own calorie deficit on their own journey is 379 calories, but almost 60 grams of protein. Y'all ask how I can get the protein in. I need smaller meals, but more protein. Here, here's where it's at. Get creative. Some things might not sound ap appealing, but I'm telling you, this tastes fire. If you like chili cheese dogs, you're gonna love this. Totally spaced and halfway through eating it, I was like, girl, you were supposed to put two chicken sausages, not one. Now it's 58 grams of protein. So I just went ahead and heated it up. I'm gonna stir it with what's left because you can see I have already eaten half of it, but glad I caught that. I'm currently editing a video. Yes, I like to edit in the dark as much as I can. Helps my eyes, I'm getting old. And we are gonna be finishing this office soon as far as a redo, but look at this turn. He is like out. Dinner time and tonight's dinner is inspired by Kelsey J Fit over on Instagram. Love her and love her account so much. A shout out to her. She did just a simple Alfredo with shrimp last week and I said, let my life be easy, Kelsey. Yes, please. So we've got the serving of pasta. I've got one serving of shrimp that I sauteed with some Tony Sacheries, some Parmesan cheese on top of it. And then we have our like Caesar salad I've been doing, which is just romaine. We've got some bacon bits, croutons, this is the uh, dressing that I'm using, the Creamy Caesar Simply Marzetti, 50 calories. I got a serving of that in there. And then I've got some of the Aldi baguette. All this, this huge massive plate, y'all, <laughs> is right under 600 calories for all of this. And it's going to be delicious. We're given the food. We eat the food. Food is fuel. Tonight's Ninja Creamy, we're doing the M&M one. 
I filmed this and all for a reel and the Instagram was being Instagramming. It froze up with the music that I chose and it just ruined the video. So I had to wait till I put it on plan again is what I'm trying to say. But this is one of the simplest ones, but probably one of my favorites. You know what makes it? The combination of the PE Science Cake Pop and the Jello cheesecake pudding together is like magic okay it just tastes so freaking good and then you throw in m&ms and little mini semi-sweet chocolate chips and of course we got 34 grams of protein in this to end out our night as far as macros well it happened they closed schools because of possibility of ice on the roads for tomorrow so the boys were home today for martin luther king day they're gonna be home tomorrow last week they missed a day i'm like goodness gracious and then in a couple weeks they're off for an entire week for mardi gras like do they even go to school at this point i don't even know struggle is real and it's not that i don't want that i love them being home they're not a problem at all they're amazing i, I mean not to toot my own kids horn but I, I have some good boys but it's just a matter of fact that it puts more work on me as a mom and i can't do my job my work or doing any of the cleaning so if you watched the past couple of vlogs i was like oh next week i'm gonna do my deep cleaning yeah girl that ain't happening that ain't happening hashtag mother nature thank you thank you for allowing me to not have a clean spick and span house i'm just gonna i'm blaming it on mother nature it's all her fault damn it i still have to shower up i am since we don't have school tomorrow i am not going to the gym obviously in icy road conditions because in louisiana we don't know how to drive and nobody knows how to act so i'm not even going to put myself in that situation so i'm making tomorrow a rest day and then we're going to train wednesday thursday and friday i'm not looking forward to it i'm already like having bev inner negative thoughts about it because training three days in a row hard is going to be hard <laughs> and not giving my body any rest especially for the leg days like doing a leg day on wednesday and then right again on friday I might just die. My legs might break off my body Friday. Stay tuned. So being that we don't have school tomorrow and tomorrow's a rest day, I'm going to sleep in. Woohoo. I know I'm like, eh. I mean, I should be happy about it, but really I want to go train. Like, are y'all at the stage in your journey where like you would rather be at the gym on your rest days? And I don't want to be on the gym and my rest days anymore where I am in my journey, but on my days I'm supposed to train, I want to train. So it bums me out that I can't, but it is what it is. We can't control the weather, right? I wish we could. Since I don't have to get up at the butt crack of dawn tomorrow, I finished getting my steps in. I just got all the dishes done. And I have been, if you follow me on Instagram, if you have Prime, which most of us have Prime because we pay for the Prime for Amazon, right? And if you didn't know, that includes Prime Video. I mean, Prime Video is like better than Netflix at this point, I feel. It's got some good ish on there and they just put Dawson's Creek, all the Dawson Creek seasons on there. And I'm reliving my best eighth grade life. But it's so funny because on Instagram, so many of y'all were like, I cannot, I'm watching it too because I saw it was on Prime and I can't believe our parents let us watch this as 14 year olds. The show is so inappropriate. Like what songs and what shows weren't inappropriate in our day? That's what I want to know. And we turned out all right, right? We want to get all like worked up about like some of the music and the songs and things that are happening in today's age. But yeah, just put, just go back and relive our junior high days and you'll be like, okay, it's not that bad. I love it. I love Dawson's Creek. Felicity, do y'all remember Felicity? Like all the CW shows, they were my jam in junior high, like reliving it, okay? So I am binge watching Dawson's Creek, okay? Don't judge me. And then I'm gonna shower up and get in the bed. It's gonna be a late night, but I'm here for it since we don't have to get up. Hopefully everything won't be a frozen and we can get back to normal on Wednesday. That's the plan. So I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Thank you so much for staying with me, following along on these Fit Mom vlogs. I appreciate you coming back every single time. If you do love them, if you look forward to them, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. That lets me know that you like them and it helps the channel. It helps myself out so much. We thank you guys for taking the time to do so. Share this video with someone that you think might like it. Comment down below. Let's converse down below. And of course, subscribe if you are new. Stick around. Make sure that bell is clicked. We're uploading Fit Mom vlogs now on Mondays and Fridays every single week unless something 
crazy happens. I hope you guys are having a kick-ass day when you're watching this. I hope you guys are starting off great with your week. I hope this is a better week for all of us parents out there as far as not having any casualties with the weather and we're able to like go to our day today smoothly. I love you guys and we'll see you in the next Fit Mom vlog. Bye y'all.